You know who I be, they call me Snapside I play that Call of Duty, schooling all the newbies If you down to learn, then go and press play Cause I'm only down, aiming for that first place Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Mr. Slapside back with some really beast gameplay guys. Some really beast high assault kill streak gameplay. And I was pretty proud of this gameplay guys because I was playing against a full team, all high prestigers. They were talking a little bit of shit. And if you're in my live stream, you probably caught this. This was probably one of my best assault moabs on my live stream guys. So I saved this in my vault and I was like, I'm going to come back to it one day, you know. I came back to it today and I was just like, man, I gotta put this up, guys, because this is one of my really fun assault kill streak gameplays. I'm really getting down in business, you know, just really schooling the enemy. I'm not staying in one area too long. I'm kind of moving around the map and just keeping it moving, man, knowing all the directions they could be at. And for some reason, I was in the right place at the right time. So I was pretty happy about this. And ultimately, you wanna get the Reaper right away. If you're trying to go for Assault Moab, guys, go for the Reaper right away. Get it as fast as possible. That way you can get as many assists as you can. And just keep the enemy pinned back because usually in the beginning it's really hot and heavy. So you wanna make sure you can just get these guys off their, you know, game plan, just really throw them back. But anyways, guys, I just want to talk a little bit about what's been going on with me, why I haven't been posting. Well, to be honest, guys, I just got that double Moab, and I just kind of wanted to get that scene a little bit more than my other videos. And honestly, guys, I've been stuck on PC gaming. Oh, my gosh, man. I've been playing this strategy game called Civilization. And Civilization is a, a very crazy game, guys, because you got to build your own civilization. you got to make peace treaties with other countries, go to war with other countries. you got to build your economy. And it's just crazy, you know, because... I don't know, man. It's really crazy. I think the reason why I'm really into it is because in school I was really into history, and it's just fun, you know, knowing how to um, run your own civilization. You know, you really gotta like get workers, you gotta get like sailboats, and build your army up because sometimes, you know, other countries, neighboring countries, will try to um, infiltrate your uh, state. You know, because I have Philadelphia, Washington, and New York as my cities right now, or uh, I should say states, and. Yeah, France, Napoleon was trying to come through, and he was like, yeah, man, we going to war, man. I heard some dirty shit about you. I heard you're not trustable or whatever. So he came through, and he brought in, like, a lot of pikemen. He brought some musketmen. He brought in some cannons. And I was like, all right, man, I got to, like, play defense on this. So it's a really strategic game, and it sounds kind of nerdy. It's probably the most nerdiest game I ever played. I don't really think Call of Duty's that nerdy because it's pretty casual. You know, a lot of people play this game. But um, it's a really nerdy game. I think PC gaming is uh, on a different level. It's really fun. I mean, I never thought I'd be playing that shit like that, man. I mean, fuck, dude. I was playing that shit for like four hours, five hours, just building my own, uh, you know, civilization. I was actually building Greece up. And, yeah, Greece was taking over, like, England and all that. And it was a pretty crazy uh, game. But uh, putting that to a side, I, I could keep talking about civilization for days. Um, I just want to talk about my live stream. It's been going pretty well, guys. I've been dropping Moabs pretty frequently uh, because I've been using specialists. But honestly, guys, man, it's hard to drop Moabs sometimes, guys. Sometimes you got to get those lucky games. It has to be tailor-made for you. You got to play against people that are really going to be uh, weak. You know, you got to play people that fit into your gameplay. If you're a type of guy that likes to rush, then just hope that they're not really good at aiming. Hopefully their accuracy is not that great because it's hard, guys. And... It's just the way it is. I mean, being a, a Call of Duty player, guys, playing Call of Duty since COD3, um, all I really learned is throughout the time when they didn't have YouTube, you just got to play good people and learn what they do. Look at their kill cam and see what they're doing and then study what they're doing. That's why um, it's great nowadays, guys. We have YouTube and there's a lot of like great players and you get to see how different players approach the game. You get to see their routes. You get to see their head glitches, and it made the whole community a lot better. You know, there's a lot more tryhards in this game, you know. A lot more people are starting to get smarter in the game. They're not just running around like a chicken with their head cut off. They're pretty much just doing some strategic shit. So you got to learn how to offset all that stuff and get down to business. But right here, I can't really teach all these drop shots, guys. This is just something that I've been doing ever since COD4. I started using Tactical Layout since COD4, guys. So um, it's not nothing new to me. And right here, guys, I believe I get, like, the craziest drop shot right here. The best drop shot in my career. Turn on them, drop shot to the knees. <sighs> Thank you. I was uh, fortunate about that, guys, because um, if he got me, Moab done. Moab done. It would have been still a great game, but they let me loose, man. They let me loose. They let the dog loose. And I'm just going to prowl this fucking game and just 
keep killing them, man. I mean, that's what I got to do, right, guys? So I use this Reaper, build up to my uh, next Osprey Gunner, just keeping it moving, man. I mean, whenever I you go for my assault kill streaks, I like to kind of build up a lot of lines. I don't like to just go for the Reaper, then use it. I like to kind of get a couple more lines after the Reaper. That way, it's a lot easier to get the Osprey Gunner. Plus, it goes towards my Moab, so... That's kind of like how I like to do it, you know, Hardline Pro is just really great, guys. And I don't think it's going to be back on Black Ops 2. I really doubt it. But check this out, guys. I get a lot of assists. The reason why is because if they're compressed in some kind of spawn, I like to kind of tap a couple bullets into their knees, their uh, shoulders. I don't really like to kill them. I let my, I let my homies kill them because um, I get a lot of assists for that. So it's all good, man. And then right here, guys, you know, we just keep it moving. We're not going to camp there because obviously there's no action. And we do the drop shot for the win. Hip fire drop shot. That is like the best shot ever, dude. I'm telling you guys, that's it's a hard shot. You got to make sure you're really aligned with your enemy and uh, just drop shot and don't even aim in. That's what you got to do. I was telling myself, I was like, hey, should I go for a double? And then I was just being, you know, sarcastic. And this was a cool game, guys, because it was on a live stream. So if you're not following the live stream, make sure you guys follow the live stream. And we'll get down to business, you know what I'm saying, guys? But uh, I just want to ultimately say thank you to everybody um, that's been supporting me. I keep saying this over and over. I sound like a broken record. But we just hit 1,800 uh, subscribers, and it's really great. I remember having 18 subscribers. And now that we have 1,800, it's just like I don't know what to do anymore. You know, I just want to keep making more content, keep pushing it out there. Get my name out there a little more and just collaborate with other people, you know. You got to really just network with all the key people, you know. Just really be cool with everybody, man. I mean, it's a competitive game, but at the same time, it's networking, guys. So learn how to be, you know, cool with everybody, you know. You don't want to be just like, yeah, I'm the best. I don't care about you. I'm better. You know, it's not about that, man. I think marketing, you know, networking is all about just being cool with everybody, man. But there's just some people that you just can't get cool with, you know. Because they're just not fit for your personality. But you can see, guys, I'm just rocking with this, man. I could have got another Osprey Gunner. Could have been running it. I probably would have got, like, 80 kills. But it doesn't really matter to me. Because it doesn't matter, man. I mean, the gameplay is what it is, right? And, you know, that's the way it's going to be. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Slapside, checking out. Peace.